In this lesson, we're going to cover how to create ribs in webs. The file that I currently have open is called rib.ipt, and it can be found in your Chapter 8 Exercise folder. In this file, you'll notice it's just a real simple extrusion of an L, and I have a work plane right in the middle. And what I want to do is I want to place in a stiffening rib right in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the work plane the active sketch. And then I'm going to use the look at tool to change my view. So I'm looking plan at that. Now all I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to draw in a line. Or it could be an arc shape. And the key here is if this geometry were to extend, it needs to be able to touch the geometry that it's going to be extended to. So in this case, that's all I want to do for that line. So I'm just going to place in a couple dimensions. So let's place it in at an angle of 45. And you could dimension the location of that, if you will. But for this example, I'm just going to cut to the chase here and exit out of the sketch environment. Click Return. Now from the Part Features panel, go ahead and click on the Rib tool. Now the profile is going to be our line. And now in the rest of this dialog box for the direction, what I'm going to do is move my cursor. And you see as I move the cursor around, it's showing me some different options. So do I want to take it to the left, to the right? In this case, I'm going to go directly down. So I'm just going to move my cursor down there and click. Now from here, I can go back and designate its thickness. So if I change that back down to 5, and spin the screen around so we can see it a little bit. You'll see that the thickness has been designated. For the extents option, I have two. I have the two next, and you can see it's basically filling in all of that geometry. Or I can come back and change it with a finite option, or I can go back and give it a depth here. So in this case, it's at one. So if I change that to two, you can see what's happening here. You can also go back and designate the thickness in this case, which direction is it going to go? And I'm going to place it back to the mid option. Go ahead and click OK. But before I do that, also notice the extend profile. So if I didn't do that here, it would basically take that geometry and just kind of hold it out in space. Probably not exactly what I want to do. So in this case, I'm going to extend that profile to get my geometry as that stiffening bar. Now I can always come back and edit that rib feature. So edit feature. And let's change it back to the to next option. So now I have my strengthening rib in there. So that's working with a single sketch option. So I'm going to close out of that file. And the other file that I have open here it's called web.ipt, and it too can be found in your Chapter 8 Exercise folder. And what I've done here is I already have the sketch created, so I go ahead and make that active. And let's take a plan view of that, use the Look At tool. So I have a series of lines that have been drawn, and I use the rectangular pattern to take that pattern of that sketch and get the geometry spread across. And again, you'll notice that the geometry does not touch the edges. In this case, they could, but I also didn't need to go through that extra effort to do that, so that's why they're falling a little bit short. So there's no limit to the number of, of lines that you could have in this case, or they could also be arc segments as well. So we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go back and click on the rib. But now for the profile, I'm going to select each of the segments and it doesn't matter which order I select them. And I'm going to do the exact same scenario. Define the direction. I'm just going to click a point so it's going down. Feel free to rotate your viewpoint so you can see it a little bit cleaner. Define the thickness. In this case I will go all the way down. I could give it a taper if I want. Make it a little bit thicker as it goes. Go ahead and click OK. And I now have that web. You can also see that it has the taper on there. Again, we can go back and edit that feature. And let's change it to the finite option. And let's change the thickness to 3. And let's change the thickness to a half. Make it pretty thin. Go ahead, click OK. 
So you can see by working with just the real simple geometry, we can go back and create some pretty complex shapes pretty fast, pretty easy, using the rib tool.